Okay, so we're going to ignore the fact that I already solved this problem when I did the video on area model using base 10 blocks, but I'm going to show you dividing a decimal by a decimal using the area model drawn, which actually I like this strategy a lot and it tells a lot about your student and their how deep their understanding of decimals is. So um, what I'm doing is I'm going to put my first factor, I'm going to put this divisor, I'm going to draw it and I'm going to represent it like this. That's going to be one whole. And then I'm going to do another one whole. And then this is going to represent a tenth. So there's one, two, and one tenth right there. So now I'm going to build my area model going down until I have four and eighty-three hundredths. So I know I can do one whole because two and one tenth times one whole equals two and one tenth because one times anything is itself. So, so far I have one, two, and one tenth. I'm trying to get to four and eighty-three hundredths, so I'm going to multiply by another one whole because I know that I can. So I'm going to fill that one in. It's hard to do this one-handed. I need to hold the paper down. All right, so times another one whole, I have another two and one tenth, which would add up to four and two tenths. Not quite there yet. I have enough holes though, so I don't want to do another one hole here because that would give me six whole and I only need four, which I have. So I can multiply by one tenth. Which when I fill in the area model gives me another two tenths right here, right here, and this represents one hundredth. So now I have four and four tenths and a hundredth. So I have four and forty one hundredths. Not quite here yet, so I'm going to do another one. Another tenth. Sorry, this is so messy. So now I have another two tenths, which puts me up to six tenths, and I have another hundredth, which puts me up to two hundredths. So I have four and sixty-two hundredths. Still not there yet, but I'm going to do another one. label that I just multiplied by a tenth, which would be one, one tenth, one tenth, and one hundredth. So now I have four and one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths and three hundredths, which is four and eighty three hundredths. So my answer is this factor right here. So I've got one, two, and three tenths. So my answer to four and eighty three hundredths divided by two and one tenth is two and three tenths.